Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today I wanted to talk about the idea of a being quirky or being uh, not like other girls. Now this is not me trying to make fun of other girls or be a bully or bring them down or anything. I just think that it's an interesting phenomena uh, for some girls to want to be different than other girls because I don't know, like, girls are generally really cool so I, I want to be like them. Cool. I want to be cool. One can only dream. But the main thing about quirky culture that I want to talk about today is the fact that, you know, a lot of the things that supposedly make girls different than other girls or make them quirky are things that everyone does. Like everyone. Like staying at home and watching Netflix or liking pizza and french fries, you know? I mean, that just seems like things that the majority of the general population do. So I just get really confused as to like, why this is such a big part of quirky culture. Yeah, I've just stayed home all day watching Netflix. Oh, that's cool. I just got back from uh, visiting my grandma at the hospital and yeah, she's not doing too good. Isn't that crazy? Isn't what crazy? That I've been staying home all day and watching Netflix. Like, who am I? A psychopathic maniac? <laughs> like, not trying to be quirky or anything, but like quirk alert, you know what I mean, right? Like, it's quirky, right? It's quirky? I mean, not really. Fries before guys. What? Seriously though, I haven't left my house. Like, I haven't gone grocery shopping in seven weeks. Wait, what? how are you getting food then? I'm so glad you asked. With HelloFresh, I don't need to leave the house to get food. I can just Netflix all day. Hello? Are you still there? HelloFresh makes home-cooked meals simple. They deliver the recipes and ingredients straight to your door so you don't have to leave the house to go grocery shopping. So you can just stay home for weeks and weeks Hello? and weeks. Who are you talking to? They have a great variety, so there's something for everyone. They have lower calorie options, family options, vegetarian options, and now HelloFresh is from only $6.99 per serving. Okay. She hung up on me? What? HelloFresh is also extremely flexible. You can add extra meals to your weekly order, you can change your delivery days, or even your food preferences. I personally never considered myself to be all that great of a chef, but even for an incompetent cook like me, making meals from America's number one meal kit is easy. It's super convenient and the instructions are clear and very, very easy to do. Get started with eight free meals, which is $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code, NotEvenEmily80. I really still have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you, HelloFresh. But honestly, you know, why does quirky culture revolve around, you know, staying home, watching Netflix, and eating chicken nuggets? Like, that is normal people stuff. There's nothing different about it, like, whatsoever. <laughs> I see a lot of tweets online that are like, other girls versus me type tweets. For example, I saw one the other day that was like, other girls versus me, and then it had a picture of like, a pretty girl looking at books on a bookshelf, and then another picture of a girl in a hoodie uh, in like, the snacks aisle of a grocery store. Like, I'm not even sure what the tweet was trying to convey because like, everyone buys snacks. I can guarantee that the girl in the picture with the bookstore or whatever, I don't know, she was probably like, 22 like she's probably gone shopping for snacks at least 200 times in her life like I am 99.999% sure that a lot of these activities that constitute someone as being a quirky girl are things that I mean most humans have done Speaking for myself. Yeah, you know, I probably have ingested a uh, quite a number of chicken nuggets along with 85% of other Americans. I'm just saying that if watching Netflix and eating pizza makes you a quirky girl, then I mean a whole bunch of other normal, mundane activities should also constitute you as quirky. So what did you do last night? Oh, it's too embarrassing. You're gonna think I'm so weird. Okay, I guess you don't have to tell me. Fine, God! I washed my hands, okay? Okay. Yeah. After I went to the bathroom. Oh, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so weird. Doesn't everyone do that? I, I mean, they should. I also, like, used my microwave to, like, heat up food. Sorry, ha have you gotten to the weird part yet? Or Are you making fun of me? Seriously, stop. It's like, I already know that I'm weird and quirky and you don't have to rub it in my face. But you also could if you wanted to. I'm, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just asking a question. Fries before guys.
What? I mean, I just can't help that I'm not like other girls. It's like, I don't know any other girls who also use their feet for walking. I'm sorry, have you never met another human being before? How do you think I got in here? I also converted oxygen into carbon dioxide, like, ugh. Oh. I'm so weird, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just can't help the quirkiness that just oozes out of my pores, you know? I don't think you know what weird and quirky means. Not to be controversial, but my political stance is that if you're gonna say you're quirky and different, then actually do or say things that make you quirky and different. I don't want any more Netflix and pizza mumbo jumbo. It's played out, I'm bored. If you're gonna claim this I'm not like other girls identity, then just completely own it, full send it. Make claims that actually set you apart from other girls. Honestly, I'm not even trying to sound quirky, but I really am just not like other girls. Yeah, same really. I've never felt like I was like other girls. Yeah, like I've never met another girl who eats an entire avocado like an apple and swallows the pit whole like I do. See, I feel you. Sometimes other girls look at me weird when I'm out to dinner and I'm rubbing butter all over my feet before putting the free bread in between my toes and trying to feed myself while singing 1980s pop hits. Oh, I completely understand. You know, whenever I go grocery shopping, I never see anyone else bring in an entire kiddie pool, strip naked, and then fill the kiddie pool with gallons and gallons of milk and try to hold their breath for 15 minutes until they pass out like I do. See, I've done that before and that's why I'm banned from all the Walmarts in the tri-state area. You and me both, sister. Here's another thing. I have 27 fingers. What do you mean? Where? In the glove box of my car. You know, I like to use them as candles. I know other girls like Bath and Body Works or whatever, but not me. No, I feel that. When other girls come to my apartment, they're always really taken aback because I don't use candles or air fresheners. What I do, I actually take my pet skunks and then I make them spray into a mason jar. And then I drink the spray and swish it around in my mouth like mouthwash and then spit it in the faces of each of my guests. Oh, like a DIY. Yeah, I might have seen that on Pinterest. Yeah, I don't know though. My friends, they really don't like it. And my dentist doesn't like it either because apparently putting skunk spray into your mouth on a regular basis is really bad for your tooth enamel. Oh yeah, my dentist doesn't like like me either. Apparently it was off-putting when I camped out in his office for four and a half days because I wanted him to clean my tooth collection before I put the teeth in my salad for a garnish, but yeah, he refused and uh, he said he'd never had a patient like me. Hmm. But it didn't sound like a good thing when he said it. Oh, you have a tooth collection? Yeah, I do. Of your own teeth? No. Oh, then whose are they? I don't know. Fair enough. Sorry, quick question. How many nipples do you have? Because my friends get really weirded out when I tell them I have 32. I have 46.43. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just don't fit in with a lot of my other girlfriends. Like, I really don't fit in. Whenever I try to shove my head into their mouths, it's really difficult. And then they get really mad at me. So this whole quirky culture thing is uh, mainly spread throughout social media. You know that saying that's like, when a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, did it even make a sound or something along the lines of that? I feel like it's the same idea, you know, like if you did something quirky and you didn't tweet about it, are you really different from other girls? So I see that both of you have been active on Twitter and liking relatable posts on Instagram, so that's good. Thanks. Thank you. Kelly, I see here that you ate a plate of chicken nuggets while binge watching The Office. It's very good work. Thank you. Uh, my doctor says I need to have a vegetable soon or my organs might shut down, but I am very committed to the quirky lifestyle. Kylie, I see that you bought an extra large pizza and a large glass of wine all for yourself. Um, did you eat it all? I ate most of it. What percentage? Uh, like... It's 65? That's quite subpar. If you truly wanted to be different from other girls, you would have eaten it all and then posted on your Instagram story, but... That can be a goal for next time. I actually uh, did eat an entire tub of ice cream and then watch three romantic comedies consecutively uh, later on that night. Did you? I uh, don't see any tweets or Instagram posts about it. Oh, um, I, I didn't post about it. Oh, you didn't? No, sorry, I, um, I must have forgotten. If you don't document the experience, how are people supposed to gauge how quirky you are? I'm sorry. This is the third time that you've done this. I mean, if you are truly committed to being different from other girls, then I mean, you're gonna have to take this seriously. Maybe she can tweet about it now? It's too late. I promise you that I will do better next time. I, I will, I'll, I'll wear sweatpants for the next three months and I'll only eat Chipotle, please. No, 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 I don't know if I can trust you at this point. I have no choice. I'm taking away your certificate of quirk. What? No, 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 P please, please, I you swear. You heard me. Leave. 
You are no longer different from other girls. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? I said I was sorry. Uh-uh-uh. I said goodbye, normie loser. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you're different from other girls or not, or whether you're a boy, uh, give this video a like and a uh, comment and uh, subscribe because those who don't will be socially isolated and uh, bullied. Not allowed to sit at the cool kids table. I don't condone bullying, but those are just the rules. I did not make them up. Just kidding. Do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, until next time. Staying home and watching Netflix. Like, what am I, a maniac? <laughs> After I went to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Rubbing butter all over my feet. And the free bread in between my toes. I'm so glad you asked. <sighs> oh my god, these glasses are so dusty. I can't see anything. I have to read the script like this. I still can't see. Bring in a kiddie pool, strip naked, and then fill it with gallons and gallons of milk, and then start to swim in it, and... <laughs> no, I... <laughs> skunks, and have them spray into a mason jar. And then I drink the spray. <laughs> gallons of lemonade. Shoot, it's milk. Milk, not lemonade. <gasps> so hard to perfect my craft sometimes. I'm gonna throw up.